Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Old Dog Comics and Collectibles. My name's Q, and today we are going to be looking at my top Captain America comics in my collection. Uh, if you're interested to see what those are, stay tuned, keep watching, and we'll go over those in just a minute. So today we're going to be taking a look at my top Captain America comics in my collection. Before we dive in, if you could hit that like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. Your support in growing this channel really means everything to me. I appreciate it. That being said, let's dive right in. Going number first, Captain America 117, the first appearance of Valken. Now, Valken, as you know, uh, made his first appearance uh, in Captain America 2 in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and also uh, has been part of the Avengers uh, series as well. I uh, really like what they did with the character, taking away from kind of like this hokey outfit and giving him a more modern day flair. So, uh, really cool book, happy to have it. Um, gorgeous as well. Um, close to near mint, probably very fine, plus just a few little pieces of edgeware. Uh, great book overall. Uh, moving on, we have Captain America 180, the first appearance of Nomad. Um, I don't believe Nomad's made it in the Marvel Cinematic Universe yet, but still a great character. Um, like I said, I like keeping these characters uh, in my collection. You never know when they're going to pop up. You can buy these really cheap, usually for, you know, a lot of these characters I keep. 5, 10, 20 bucks for a first appearance, and then uh, you never know when they're going to appear in a movie and, and really just see that price jump. So if you're looking to speculate, it never hurts to grab books like these. Uh, moving on, we have Captain America 192. Uh, this is the first appearance of Moonstone, another minor character that I picked up just in case, but still, very cool book to have. I love collecting first appearances and Marvel keys. You never know who's going to pop up or what book's going to take off next. So, anyway, first appearance of Moonstone. Uh, moving on, we have Captain America 208. Now, this is... Um, the first appearance of Arnim Zola. You guys remember Arnim Zola from Captain America, the first Avenger uh, movie as well. I think he had a brief appearance in Captain America 2 in the bunker. Uh, so anyway, this is his first appearance. Uh, very cool book. Uh, also in great condition. Just a little bit of edge around the wear around the staples, but overall, a uh, very nice book. Uh, moving on, this is the Captain America number 217. Um, this is a couple minor characters. It's uh, the Super Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's the first appearance of Vamp, Blue Streak, and Marvel Boy. Um, all of which minor characters, but with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And a TV show and Marvel just throwing in characters ever. Like I said a, a dozen times already, it never hurts to pick up these minor characters. You never know what's going to take off next. And here uh, we have Captain America 275. Um, this is the first appearance of, well, it's a cameo appearance of Baron Zemo. Technically, uh, his first appearance was 168 as a character named Phoenix, but then he died and then he came back as Baron Zemo. And this, well, long story short, uh, this is a cameo appearance of the first time he's Baron Zemo. Kind of confusing, but a uh, cool little piece of comic book uh, history right there. Um, and then next we have Captain America 282. Um, this is the first appearance of Jack Monroe as a Nomad. Um, again, minor characters. I like to pick these up. You never know. Uh, it's still kind of a cool book. And then here we have Captain America 302, the first appearance of Machete. Uh, really a neat character <laughs> throwing out, uh, those buzzsaw blades, uh, it's a really cool looking book. Uh, you don't see a lot of like the green covers like that. Um, I really like it. Um, anyway, going on. And finally, <laughs> probably the most ridiculous uh, character I've seen yet. Um, that's saying something. Uh, Captain America 310, the first appearance of Anaconda. That seems like this uh, kind of like a take on Mr. Fantastic, but only she has like snake arms. I don't really know what's going on here. I really doubt this character is ever going to be worth anything, but I kind of put it in here because it makes me laugh, uh, especially just the artwork. Um, she seems absolutely massive and those crazy ridiculous arms. Um, it really makes me laugh, so 
Anyway, guys, I uh, really hope you enjoyed checking out those comics. Um, if you guys want to let me know what your favorite one was, or if you want to see uh, my collection from specific character, Deadpool, X-Men, Incredible Hulk, Doctor Strange, leave it in the comments. Also, from other uh, uh, publishers, I've got some great DC books, Image Comics, as well as some other uh, smaller publishers as well. Uh, anyway, guys... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends, and check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. Like always, if you join my Patreon, you'll be entered every month into a monthly raffle uh, where we have some great prizes like booster packs, comic books, Funko Pops, and other great collectibles. So check that out if you're interested. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and have a good one. See you next time.